Welcome to Blank Minecrafting. I'm your host, Charles. Uh, today is part two of the skeleton uh, train. Skeleton skull train. Uh, as you can see, the during the drying process, the cracking of clay, which I kind of knew was going to happen, but uh, it dried a little bit faster than what I wanted. So I put a layer of just regular uh, school glue uh, over top of it uh, just to keep it from flaking off and ruining what I already have set up. So today there's going to be a couple of things that's going to happen with this. Uh, one thing, you know, we all need to know is prime and paint it. That is fully understandable. But we also need a plan because what kind of train do you want? Do you want it to be lava esque? So, like, it's lava is coming down here, through here. Um, I don't want that, but it's a cool idea. I might have to go out and get another skull and do that idea because I really like it. But this one, I really want a greenery. Um, so with that in mind, you have to layer sometimes up to get the effect. So the first layer, again, is your wood. Uh, second effect is your sand. And I have my trusty box here. Um, and it has a lot of my stuff in it. Taking out that. So I have my sand. Just really simple sand. Um, and why I want to layer this up is due to the grounds layered. So you'll see, I, I want to make uh, like a cart track. Uh, around here and to do that you have to have layers and the easiest way is to layer it already uh, so with I'm gonna put the sand here let it dry then I'm going to come back and put a different layer on top of that and then so we sand as you can see again and then my secret weapon to go on top of there. I'll take it out. It's already dried. I let it dry. As you can see, it is coffee grounds. Um, coffee grounds give a dirt like appearance and they, they just have to be dry. And I'm a coffee drinker, so those are are fully dried. Uh, I have another set like here um, that's being dried. Uh, also, I have my secret weapons for greenery. If you could see, this is a mixture of spices. That one, and then this one um, and I might use them I might not uh, if I wanted it to be kind of more fluffy um, I have sawdust you can use sawdust uh, other things that you can use for your train um, you could pick this up uh, at any store that sells aquatic um, so I got these plants, which I don't think I'm going to use these, but, and then I got these. So let's get on to this build though. Um, it is very simple. All you're going to do is do a, a layer of glue. 
So I put that layer of glue down. Go ahead and come in, grab my uh, really dirty brush, and kind of just come in and uh, I might need a little bit more glue than that, but that's okay. And as you can see, I'm not getting any on the clay there. I'm just getting it on the, the wood here. And, well, I did get some on to the... Okay. Go ahead and take this. And all I'm doing is just sprinkling it on. That's it. Then I'll do a little bit more glue and sprinkle on getting it all ready. Uh, when I'm done with that and it's dried, I'll be back. Okay. It's dry. I'm gonna put some, uh, spray glue down. <laughs> I like, uh, Doing this because it adds a flavor then I'm gonna take my my dried coffee grounds and just sprinkle it on like you would do dirt and I'm not worried about how much dirt I get on there. Because uh, again, I'm going to put flock on, on it also. But patting it, I'm going to hit. Hit the areas with the glue. Make sure that sticks. Then I'm going to come back in with my regular glue also. get more uh, and this just takes a while and then however you feel this gets then you let it dry and then you come back and once I get this covered and it dries I'll uh, come back and show you some of the flocking okay uh, this was a really quick demonstration. Okay, I have uh, the ground mixture all done. As you can see, it gives a interesting depth to there. I had a little mishap. Hold on. My uh, light fell. <laughs> uh mishap uh some of the coffee grounds went <laughs> down this way but it's a cool effect i'm leaving it i like it i also before i forgot to tell you guys i did prime uh the the skull white uh which i'm getting ready to prime uh, this area black now something um, people don't say when you're doing a collar situation you know add a different color to your black 
Um, this, this is something I do. You don't have to, but it gives a different tone to the black, but I'm just going to come in here and paint up where the clay hits the skull. Basically priming it and then I will come back in with uh, white and gray to make all this kind of rocky and then I'll come back and get this all done up also. But for now, I'm going to pause this video as I paint. And when I'm done painting all this, I'll come back. Okay, I got the black primed, as you can see, for basically our stonework. Gives a good contrast. Uh, I mixed up white, green, and burnt amber. Um, and I added a little water texture to get the dirt. So, so and now I'm just going to be covering all the area where our grass is going to go with the layer of dirt. This also uh, helps cover the coffee um, so you don't, uh, I guess some people say uh, get it won't cause uh, molding. So, and all you can see is I'm just taking and dabbing That way I can get through some of the coffee, but also get into the sand that's underneath of it too. And that's all I'm doing. Um, then, like up here, I'll uh, get in there. I don't mind if it goes outside of that, uh, the coffee. Uh, you can see doing <laughs> the idea of that, that lava <laughs> made me want to do this a little bit more. So. So, uh, I'll pause there. Uh, when I'm done with all the brown, I'll come back and show you what I'm going to do with the, the skull and the rocks, uh, painting-wise, okay? Okay, so I got all the brown done. However, I ran out of this color brown, so I had to mix a new brown so you can see some of the like the greener color but i really liked it so i added some to like up here you know give it a different texture to some of the the brown uh, all I'm going to do is let all that dry now because that is a, a good uh, landscape right now. Then I'll come back in, like I said, and highlight the rock and then start 
uh, with the skull. Okay. Uh, hopefully you like this video so far. Uh, hit that subscribe button and that like button. Uh, if you want more dollar store crafting, I have it in store for you. So just keep uh, subscribing and looking at my stuff and I'll be back after this dries. Okay, all this is dried up. Now I'm going to come in uh, with my dry brushing. I got a grayish color and my paper towel and I have white but it's simple yeah dry brushing you can't uh, I might need a little bit more white Just come in and I got a little too much paint on that, but come in and hitting the highlighted areas with the gray. To give it a and this gray has a little bit of green in it also. Um I like adding that to the rock to make sure it doesn't it has depth multiple colors with the gray gives the rock a little bit more um, a natural feel then come back in and give it the highlights I like dab <laughs> and you can see how that's going I'll get this up closer gives a rocky feel to this um, then after I get all this dry brush, that's when I'm going to get into uh, the skull. So uh, I'll come back after I get the rocks done. Okay, I got the dry brushing done. So as you can see, I got the rocks looking how I want them to look. Uh, the depth, different grays with a little bit of green in there. Um, now coming in, uh, I'm going to actually paint this back to a brown, light brown color, what, uh, most people would call a uh, bone. Gonna leave the teeth white um, for right now, but I'm gonna go in and clean up my lines from you know from the coffee, from the clay, from doing the. Um, rocks I uh, might as well get the the teeth done too um, I can come back in with another color um, but make it look more real so as you can see that's gonna be the color of it um, after it's all done and said uh, then I'm going to come back in with a what we call a wash and do a 
dark, like uh, sienna brown or uh, burnt or ar arvin, burnt uh, brown, and give it a wash. Uh, that will get into the cracks and darken the cracks, but also darken areas where I don't have to highlight. Then uh, when I'm done with that, I'm going to actually do that on the rocks also and be done with the painting process. Uh, then it will become uh, the flocking. And then, like I said in the beginning, then I'm going to try to make uh, like cart tracks that grooved through here. Um, maybe. I don't know yet. But I'm really liking this uh, scenery and scenario. So once I get done with the, the brown, um, I'll come back with that wash, like I said. And then on top of that, uh, be, be actually probably really happy with how this skull is going to turn out. So, uh, I'll see you back for, I don't know if I'll do the wash on camera or not. I might do that separate, uh, but I'll come back and do the flocking and show you how the skull looks. Okay. Okay. I got the, the skull done. As you can see, I did a little bit more highlighting on the teeth. Um, it is still a little wet, but I can get into some of the, the flocking. Um, as you can see, I have a good chunk. Um, so, yeah, let's get into this. And again, all I'm doing is where I put the glue. Is where the greenery is going to go. As you can see, that's all I'm doing. And I'll fill up all the areas with the green and maybe come back. with some shrubbery maybe I don't know exactly but <laughs> but that is what I'm doing yep. and as you can see that's the greenery um, I'll probably put some of not that um, the yellow stuff also with it. Oh, yeah, let's have some fun. And it's okay if you don't get it everywhere. That's what the the ground here is for. I'm running out of squirt. Okay. I'm gonna have to go back to conventional glue. <laughs> Which that's okay. 
uh, with conventional glue. Uh, I sprayed it with my <laughs> spread it with my finger. Then come in with the the flocking. So this is what I'm going to be doing for <laughs> a little while. Um, as you can keep paying the, you know, come up here. Hit that. Now, why I did that while it was still painting, because I kind of want some of that greenery to get on that paint. So, that's. It's always happy accidents with that, but you can see that the green is growing. I'm gonna put a little bit more right there, and then come back in it. Yeah, and grab some of this yellow flocking that's a little bit give it a kind of two tone ask vibe. But this is what I'm gonna be end up doing and I will uh, come back when it is all done. Okay? Enjoy. Okay, folks. It is done. Uh, as you can see, uh, the skull is completed. The greenery around. The ruts for, like, traveling. Can use this for multiple different things. Um, however, I am going to put some shrubbery around in here. And I may, like, once my airbrush, I fix my airbrush. Oh, sorry. I dropped, almost dropped the camera. So, uh, go back to this way sorry about that uh, but have some greenery somewhere like a tree basically growing um, kind of like that maybe out of the out of here okay so uh, you know this is what this build was all about was the greenery and getting this. I don't know about if I'm going to add any shrubs or not. Um, but I can put this on the table uh, anytime for my players and have a really good time. So I hopefully you enjoyed this uh, build of the Skull Train. Uh, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let me know in the comments, uh, you know, but again, this was Blank Minecrafting, I'm your host, Charles, and this was the Dollar Store Skull Train. Sorry, I came back to show you. Uh, I added some foliage 
and some paint to bring out the track from make it kind of dirty and make the greenery go good uh, to make it kind of tread but I also as you can see I added some foliage down here and then if you if I raise it up in the eye socket right there kind of trying to make it beautiful and eerie all at the same time I know I said I probably wasn't going to do it but I started looking at it and started fussing around with it and ended up doing this I'm gonna turn it so you can see the flowers a little bit more but it gives a eerie kind of like it was crying uh, but an eerie but beautiful skull and train well there you go that is finished uh, hit that subscribe button hit that like button add a comment or two uh, and please enjoy this was a dollar store skull train uh, part two on blank mind crafting i'm your host charles please don't please subscribe and hit that like button see you next time